Big sigh. <laughs> the moment has come for us to guess where Brian is on Del Marva. And now here are the clues we're working with. Our first clue, Tiny Town is not far from the Maryland-Delaware line. Mm -hmm. And the second clue, a notable doctor is a native of the town. So where is he? Let's try to guess first. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. You are? I where, really do you, where do you think he is? I'm, I'm thinking... Um, from where we are sitting right here over that way. I'm going towards Parsonsburg. Parsonsburg. Yes, I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm thinking Seaford. Seaford? Yes. Okay. See, I was thinking of Dr. Parson that might be. Oh, okay. So, Brian? All right, Jimmy and Lisa. So, those are your guesses. Good guesses at that. You guys really tried with this one. I thought the clues were easy, but I guess not because you both are wrong. I'm going to take a few steps to my left here and reveal to you where I am by looking at the sign. It gives it away. But in case you can't still figure it out, let's take the math. This afternoon, I am actually in Worcester County in the town of Bishopville. Now, here's a little bit of information about the area. Bishopville is the very definition of a small, quaint town. It's an unincorporated community that sits right along the St. Martin's River. Now, Bishopville is in the northern part of Worcester County and is not far from the Delaware-Maryland border, which was, as I mentioned earlier, one of my clues. Now, the town began around a grist mill and later boomed when the farmland around the area was producing so many strawberries that it was known as the strawberry capital of the East Coast. But per the usual, time sometimes changes things. The movie theater, restaurants, and many of the stores are now gone, and this area is known as a nice, quiet place to live. The main road through the community is Route 367, also known as Bishopville Road. Now, another one of my clues, I said how a notable doctor is a native of this town. Dr. George Bunting was from Bishopville and later went on to start the Noxzema Corporation in 1917 using the formula for a sunburn cream discovered by a doctor in Ocean city. So there you have it. A lot of history, a lot of information about such a small little town, but Bishopville, Bishopville. This is where I was today. You guys were wrong. Maybe you'll get it next time. Who knows? With that said, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, I really like that he's so subtle. I know, I know. He, I think he it. likes it when we're wrong. And I just want to say that Jimmy informed me that Seaford and the Delaware State Line, there's a couple towns in between. Well, there, I, mean, so. no, we, I mean, it's, it's close. I mean, we, <laughs> we could have gone with, what, El Dorado? We, yeah. we could have gone with Reliance. We could have gone with... We still would have been wrong. Could have, Yeah, we still would have been wrong. Mm -hmm. Still ahead on Del Marva Live, we're going to announce another winner in our holiday gift card giveaway. Plus, we're deep into Season 2 of Elementary here on oh. WBOC. We'll get an early look at the twists and turns in tonight's show. Del Marva Live, we'll be right back. <laughs>